What is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. So we are actually back in the shop here to do some stuff on the third gen, which by the way, it is now live to enter to win this truck. Yes, yeah, so you guys can go down, click the link in the description below, and enter to win this truck. And guess what we're doing this time for the first time ever? Not just are we giving away this beautiful truck, one of the nicest we've given away from July 26th, which is today until August 3rd. We are going to be giving you guys Two entries for every five dollars spent. Not 15, not 20, not 25. Every five dollars is now gonna get you two entries, but only from July 26th until August 3rd. So take advantage of that, get entered to win this truck. Yes, we have new wheels on the way. Yes, we have new tires on the way. Yes, we have suspension stuff coming. Yes, we have a whole bunch more cosmetic stuff. Thousands of dollars worth of stuff going under the hood of this truck. But guys, this truck is going to be an absolute animal and the giveaway actually ends on September 1st. But if you want double entries for every $5 you spend, which is already way lower than it's ever been before, that period is only live for I think about one week and then that's over. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the merch. Let's get into the next upgrade that we're gonna be doing on this truck today. Yes, I have my dogs in the shop today because you know what? It's nice and cool in here. Yeah, they like hanging out. This thing is actually like super heavy. Check this out. It's got some weight to it. That looks freaking sweet. Some of you might be wondering why we went with a grill like this and some might not like it, but a lot of people will. You have to wait and trust the process, okay? Because this is not obviously the final thing we're doing to the front end and the overall appearance and look of the truck. So you're just gonna have to trust the process, but uh, it's gonna look pretty freaking sick. And I believe this is just a 516 all the way around. Girls are enjoying their time out here, but so we're gonna get this grill close. I gotta take it over to my parents' drill bit because don't have a set of drill bits yet. I need to go buy a set, but I also need to go over there to pick up some other tools that are mine anyhow and get them brought over because we're gonna need them here in a bit. Here's the grill though. It is kind of snapped into place. If I like really push up on it, it'll kind of, here, where do I gotta do it? There, if you kind of push up on it real hard, it'll pop up out, but otherwise it kind of like snaps down into place. It's actually kind of cool. So I can still close it and I can still drive it. It's not gonna go flying off because it's bolted all the way up around the top. But, there she be. She's a little smudged up, I gotta clean it up a little bit, but that's the way that grill's gonna look on there. And before anybody, uh, before anybody makes any quick comments, you've got to, like I said, you've got to trust the process and wait until you see the whole result in terms of the headlights, the wheels and tires set up, I mean, just everything. You've got to wait because it's going to look really, really good. Trust me on this. It's going to look totally awesome. But if for some reason you don't like cool aftermarket look, I will keep the grill and send it with you um, to whoever ends up winning the truck. Keep in mind, this truck could be yours. It sticks out. <laughs> the first thing I noticed. But I think once you do the headlights and if you change the, the tow mirrors or whatever, the black will pull it together. I was going to ask them, do you think I should leave those tow mirrors? we we'll put fourth gen ones on because like I said, third gen slash second gen, you know, the most commonly used ones, the glass is shaky. I don't know why, but it's shaky. The fourth gen ones, not shaky. I personally would put the newer ones on. I do like the fourth gen ones. They look a little bit, I don't know, they look better, but that's just a preference. It's really just my opinion, saying they look better. But anyways, we're gonna get the truck started up. And we're gonna get over to my parents' farm so that we can show you guys the new wheel and tire setup that's gonna be going on the first gen over there. And then also we're gonna drop the wheels and tires off at the shop. We've got the wheels and tires from the mud truck that I gave to Devin in the bed here. Show them these, so you gotta see them. Brand new 35s and I know some people think that these tires are cheap. They're not good for, you know, the high mileage, like the other mud trains, like 50,000 miles out and stuff. However, this truck, my dad drives, he hardly drives it. It's been parked here since I put his new wheels and tires on there in the first place. Um, I don't think we're worried about tread life on these really because it would take 10, 15 years to ever get 50,000 miles out of these on this truck. So all that being said, he likes the tires, not a fan of how pitted the wheels are on this from the mud truck. So he bought some brand new, well, I bought him some brand new wheels 
in trade for his anthems. He said, I love the anthems. He's like, they're just too flashy for my truck. He's like, it's just, I want to go the old school route and go with some Mickey Thompson's. He's like, if you buy me some new wheels, I'll give you the anthems. I said, deal, we'll find something to put them on. Eight on six fives, a 16 by 10 wheel pattern. Check that out. Yeah. So he's pretty stoked about this because he thinks these will look a lot better on that truck with the 35s than those on that truck just because he wants he wants the old school look and I don't blame him. That truck honestly like to do it justice it needs to stay classic looking all around but it works out because now we got more wheels and tires for really cheap. So anyways we're going to get these wheels and tires hauled on over to the shop around the corner here and have them mount and balance them up and get them ready to put on the first gen. It's gonna look pretty sweet. How do you like riding in the third gen, babe? Good. Comfortable? Oh, well, that's good, that's good. So we were gonna take our wheels and tires to my preferred shop, which is a mom and pop shop right around the corner from our house. I've always taken my stuff there just because it's like a little family owned business and I like that kind of, you know, I just like that. I just like that a lot. So I've always taken my stuff there. However, they actually turned me down only because they've got so much going on right now and they've got to go close up shop for a week for a vacation that they do every year. And they're like, we've got more cars than we know what to do with right now. So even though it's just wheels and tires and it's not a hard thing to do, we got to make sure people can get their cars back before we're going to be gone for a week. So anyways, we're actually headed to Discount Tire. I've never taken a set like this to Discount Tire, but they said they would do it if I walked in and basically said that it was a walk-in you know, job that I needed done because they're booked up on the schedule. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see, and then hopefully they can get these mounted and balanced. Well, we got the wheels and tires dropped off. Now we are here to get a little bite to eat. We actually haven't eaten fast food in quite a while, isn't it? It's kind of impressive. We used to eat like out every meal because we were driving and driving and driving and dra traveling all the time. But now like we're at home, so we just eat like ribeyes. And no, like actually, no, but we haven't like gone out to eat in a little while, so we're gonna get some good here. Oh my goodness. Guys, you gotta check this out. I've never really been a big fan of old school wheel tires. In fact, my uncle's a huge fan of them. And I randomly crack on him for it. Because I call them grandpa wheels and tires. Check this out. <laughs> Brand new Mickey Thompson rims wrapped in 35s dang that looks good mm. just a big beefy wheel and tire setup going on the first chain i'd be tempted to put this on my third gen. so yes everybody in a wrap we got the grill put on the truck we got the new wheels and tires mounted and balanced ready to go for the white first gen and you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to see how that turns out on that truck because i think it's gonna look really good my dad liked the wheel and tire setup that was on it before but the wheels were just really pitted really nasty just beat up and he wanted to go with a new mickey thompson three i think it's considered a mickey thompson classic three um, wheel and tire setup on that truck because he just he thinks it'll just bring the right touch to it that he really likes um, he thought the anthems would look really good on it, which they do, but it's just, they look too good for that truck and that application. So we're going to be taking the anthems off there and I'm going to take them off his hands and we're going to find another use for them. But man, just uh, overall though, I think this is going to look super sick and the grill turned out really good on the truck as well. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hopefully guys enjoyed the video. Do not forget to enter to win this truck. Every $5 gets you two entries right now and you could be taking home this beautiful third gen that's getting about $15,000 worth of upgrades done and it's gonna be super, super sweet. Thank you guys so much. Leave a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family. And information to win this truck is in the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.